别着那两个酒碗胶带，可不行。It appears that we're locked in here. Together. Hello? Anybody out there? It's late to find out that anybody's here. Cell phone? <laughs> Gee, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, the reception in here is shot. Somebody will be around eventually, and they see the light under the door, and we won't have to endure each other's company very long at all. I wasn't stalking you. I, I didn't say you. anything. I, I, you don't have to. I can read it on your face. I just, I mean, I wanted you to know. I was looking for justice, so yeah, I came in here, and then, of course, the door locked. Is this yours? Yes, that is. Thank you. I left it here when I met with a client. Thanks. Can I have it from you? Yeah. Brick is always chasing me around, looking for everything that I leave behind. My cell phone, my glasses, my head. I thought you might be able to use these. I don't need your tissues. Okay. They'll be right there in case you change your mind. Bad night. Don't pretend like you don't know, please. Okay, I won't. I know that there was another attempt on Sonny's life, and I know that it was Emily's turn to be the innocent victim getting caught in the middle of crossfire, and I know that Jason was arrested for killing the shooter. He got angry and took it out on you. Then you certainly know why I might be just a little upset. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't. Please do not start with I'm just, me right now saying that I don't understand why you're so upset. This isn't new. It's not like it's never happened before. In fact, it happens all the time. You should be used to it by now. What's your point, Alexis? You're an adult. Act like one. Make another choice, Sam, so you don't have to be so upset all the time. There are a lot of nice guys out there that aren't in the mob. Choose one of them. God, I wish Christina had that same option. She's stuck in the middle of this, and, and she doesn't get a vote because she's too little. Nobody will listen to Christina, but they'll listen to you. You can get out. Christina can't. Why is it always about Christina with you? Do you ever once give a thought to your other daughter? Newsflash, Alexis, you have another daughter, but no one would ever know because it's always Christina this or Christina that. What about the other child you carried for nine months? Did you even care when she was born? Were you excited to meet her? Were you anxious to see her face? The first time you held her, did you feel anything at all? Because it's always about Christina for you, right? Did you ever stop to consider how doting one child can make the other feel? Unwanted, useless, wishing maybe that she had never been born. Listen, you. I have had it up to here with your interminable, baseless accusations about my character. You don't know the first thing about me. Here's a tip. Whatever horrible things you've gone through in your life, I have gone through just as many. Probably more because I've lived longer than you. Come to think of it, I'm old enough to be your mother, so show me some damn respect! As for Christina, I worry about her more because her father is a career criminal. 
Molly's father, on the other hand, is a respected attorney who uses words and precedents to fight his battles. He is on the right side of the law, therefore Molly needs less vigilance and protection. Not that I need to justify myself as a mother to you at all. But I happen to love all of my children. All of your children? You're, you're making it sound like you had more than one. If you had just two, you would say, Stop both of my children! Stop talking for one minute. I'm going to tell you something. Maybe a, a, a little honesty, a little painful honesty, might get you to understand and comprehend me just a little teeny bit. It might even teach you something. This ought to be good. There was another door.